So I think, you know, complicated people will always live complicated lives and simple people will live simple lives because, you know, the basic hinge of a complicated person is to complicate everything. <laughs> it's just that complicated people shouldn't be surprised that, that uh, their life is complicated because they want it this way, you know. Tomash. Tomash, yes. Or Thomas. Thomas is... Oh, Thomas is fine. It's, it's yeah. fine. Okay. Very brief introduction. I'm a founder and the head of a training institute, a private academy, who is training professionals in the organizational field. One of the questions was, if you had the chance to invite anybody to your institute, who will that be and for what? And I said, I would invite Tomasz Sedlacek. Oh. <laughs> and I would like to look together with him how we could use this organizational development as a step into a new model of economy. So, so let's take the current crisis. It's really interesting the lightning rod on which the blame went. So for example in Europe the blame didn't go to national states, the blame didn't go to trade unions, this often happens. Mm -hmm. uh, the blame went uh, into European organization. My main uh, interest is how can we teach and help to learn in concrete organizations to be prepared and to pursue steps into a new economical, ecological society model. Religious wars almost destroyed religion, understandably for many people. Yeah. Um, uh, national wars destroyed nations, that's why we have the European Union, this yeah. is the answer to and then nationalism is one of the biggest threats today, we are afraid of going back. And man, many sciences destroyed wisdom. Exactly, <laughs> yes, and many sciences dis dis destroy, and you have of course these horror movies where Frankenstein is sort of, you know, this crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. So maybe, the, and the same thing a little bit happened with economics in 2008. Yeah. This is, as you find in, in mythologies very frequently, there is a very mighty creator, God, a deity that creates the whole world, the quantum structure and, and the everything alive. Mm -hmm. Extremely uh, complex task. And then suddenly <clears throat> there comes a small little problem that he cannot solve. So, I mean, God who can do anything suddenly now cannot solve this problem. Why? Because it's symbolic. So, my point. Yes, yes, because this is a nice... Is I having a break? Yeah, all the signals, all the signals are telling us that we should go and have a uh, sweet yeah. eating.